I was teaching a grade sixth class that books, chair, table, and everything we see is made up of tiny things called atoms. A girl raised a hand and said, "If everything is made of atoms, then what are atoms made of?" And I said to her that atoms are made up of electrons, protons, and neutrons. And protons and neutrons are in the center, and electrons are on the outside. and then with a playful smile she asked me what are electrons made of made up of to that question i don't even knew the answer to like what are electrons made up of but i said her that they are fundamental things i mean like they're not, not unbreakable and she said to me that you know you know when, when we first thought that atoms were fundamental you know the atoms were unbreakable but even the word atom means undivisible undividable something like that so I further said her that quantum mechanics treat electron as a point particle, meaning it is not made up of anything. I said her current science does not know what electron made up of, and she said maybe some theory exists that has not yet been experimentally proven. And I said maybe, but I don't know of any. And then the class ended, and later, then later when the class ended, she gave me a paper, and on the paper there was written something, and that thing was that. When I first read it I thought it's absolutely nonsense because black holes are something that are found in outer space they are formed when all of the star density collapses into a single point of infinite density called singularity Now black holes are the object with extreme gravitational attraction such as light cannot escape and what it has to do with something like electron when I reached home I searched for the concept on Google like and uh, to my amazement i found that there was a wikipedia page about it and like i was like shocked and that that the concept already existed that it had there has been worked on on the concept and after much digging and after, after much digging found out the most shocking thing and that thing was the kerr newman electron model and this model treated electron as a black hole but without an event horizon mathematically and the math does work out now at this point if it didn't produce any testable prediction like string theory that will be totally fine the fact that math works out is shocking enough and for those who do not know what string theory is basically string theory is a theory in physics which says all the fundamental particles electrons quarks and things like that are made up of vibrating strings uh, vibrating in extra dimensions so yeah but string theory produces no testable prediction so yeah but uh, now back to the black hole electron thing the kerr newman model the the most crazy thing the most crazy part you know is like by treating electron as a black hole without an event horizon mathematically you do make a testable prediction and this is one of the most shocking thing about the kerr newman electron model and i think so here here is the point where it supersedes string theory and those predictions come out to be accurate even and before and before diving into those predictions let's clear up some basic physics okay now there it's a very very basic fact you know like when a charged thing you know moves you know when a charge moves it produces a magnetic field around it okay in the same way you know when the charge is spinning it also produces a magnetic field around it and as we know that electrons are charged particles which have a spin this mean that the spin of the electron generates a magnetic field around itself and the ratio of spin to magnetic field generated is called in the case of electron is called the gyromagnetic ratio or the g factor now the dirac relativistic quantum theory predicts a g factor of 2 for electron and for the kerr newman electron model to work it should also predict exactly the g factor of 2 so and to surprise it does it does predict exactly the g factor of 2 which the dirac rel- relativistic quantum theory predicts and it is one of the most i mean like I mean, mind-blowing things ever. I mean, like Dirac relativistic quantum theory is like a very, very different way to approach the value of g factor. I mean, like it uses relativity and quantum mechanics together to produce this value. But 
the kerr newman electron model is purely based on general relativity okay like it is it, it it does not even incorporate quantum mechanics into it yet it it gives the exact value of 2 and the matching happens you know like it's it's really something something jaw dropping i i mean you you can if you understand this you couldn't sleep the whole night i mean like this is so so amazing and also like with g factor the uh, the the kerr newman electron model you know also predicts the magnetic moment of the electron correctly as it produces predict the g factor correctly but the main downfall of this theory is like it does not yet in yet incorporate quantum mechanics into it and you know quantum mechanics and so it does not even you know explain the wave particle duality of electron all the quantum mechanical things like the heisenberg uncertainty principle the Pauli's exclusion principle all the quantum mechanics things like the planck's constant and everything on which the quantum mechanics stands it does you know from a simple thing you know it does not from that simple thing like electron behave as a particle and as a wave the wave particle duality is not even explained by this model because it is classical it you know see this is one of the most i mean like backfall of this you know it, it, it can predict the g factor but on the other side the theory will fail because you know it it cannot predict electron motion the wave function is not you know predicted by it and the wave function is the way we describe electron motion so it really lags behind in many of things but because but i say that because i think so because it is incomplete you know because you know it's just purely based on general relativity and the second most uh, you know like uh, the thing that is wrong the downfall about this theory is like you know it predicts a naked singularity i mean like you know you if you know anything about black holes you know that they have a singularity and an event horizon around which and singularity is inside that event horizon this is what black hole actually is but in current newman model you just don't have an event horizon you just have a singularity like electron is just a singularity without an event horizon but the problem but the main problem is that we have not found any naked singularity experimentally in nature their their existence is still in debate this shows us that maybe the kerr newman electron model is really really incomplete but the fact that it got some values exact means that the theory might may be wrong but the way may be right or there might be something like singularity that might be present. After all this, I look back at the paper she gave me and by chance, I, and just by chance, I flipped the page backside and there was something written on the backside. After looking more closely, I saw this.